Welcome, welcome to two spooky games. My name is Ghoul Robber, and our first game is Luggage. We just got back from a camping trip, and we need to keep our luggage safe with us. What a rough trip. Oh, we got full voice acting. We arrived in Los Angeles. Thank you for flying Hubris Airlines. Oh, I I do I like the way that this is set up. What am I gonna tell Jessica? Yeah, what about Jessica? Who's Jessica? She will never forgive me. Oh mm, jeez. We probably don't deserve to be forgiven if that's what we say out loud. Don't forget your luggage, sir. You should see it on your way out. Oh yeah, of course. I'll grab my luggage. Don't worry. I know exactly where that is. You know what? It's um a lot of the same men are here. I'm seeing a very lackluster amount of females. That's okay. I guess that's okay. Maybe there's only a few outfits in this world. What do we got here? We got a bunch of shoes for sale. Is this the way out? That looks like a dead end. Oh, hey, is it a dead end? No, it's a bathroom. Can we go in the bathrooms? Probably not, right? No, we can't. Alright. Let's keep going. I don't know what kind of music, like, this is. I don't know what kind of feeling it's trying to get out of me. Because to me, it's kind of like a quirky spy movie. Where they're, ba you know, towards the end, where they're off on their, like, ship getting away or something. This is mine. Is this mine? There goes my luggage. There goes my luggage. Need to use a payphone to call a taxi now. Can't wait to get home. Why doesn't the guy seem so indifferent to life right there? Well, we have our suitcase. That's good. We got step one. Most important thing. It's one of the hardest things to do in an airport is find your luggage. Every time I've traveled, though, I've always uh, brought just enough that you can carry on and then put it above you and you're good. Don't gotta deal with all the crowd after. Just run and book it because, you know, my anxiety is not going to handle that well. Then just bring extra money and buy your stuff there because, you know, you gotta be a baller and justify your purchases. This is not even the way out. Oh wait, we can move faster now. We can, we can do a little, it's kind of like a, a little bit of uh, too many steps for how far we're going, but it's okay. How am I this bad at this video game? Where is it? Where's our exit? Was it actually over by where the luggage was? Alright, let's go back to where I was because I'm sure that I'm just dumb and missed it. Mm. Okay. This looks like the exit. Or at least an exit. Maybe. The setup for this exit is not very good. Oh wait, here's the there we go. Hello. Thank you for calling Eager Taxi. How may I help you? I need to ride home. I'm at the Hubris Airport. be on its way. I know the few airports that I've been in, the cab companies will set up right there. So you can just basically walk out and get it. There's usually like a little shuttle that brings you to them. That is not... Okay. There are these doors? I feel like a dog that just ran into a window. That was quick. That was quick. As I was saying, they're usually on the ready for this type of thing. Do we have to put it in the back? No. 
Okay, we just go right into the... We, we got into the trunk of the taxi. No problem. Oh. Wow, that's a really fast taxi. Very efficient. Ooh, I like the sound of the oh, stairs. So you know, man, I regret camping with Gale. Knew it was a bad idea. What is it? We sound so... I don't even know how to explain the personality. A man was butchered at his home. Till this day, the killer was never found. The neighborhood of Ellendor was left in shock. A man in his 60s found dead at his front lawn. Oh. But that was only his body. You mean that was only his body? Found. Oh. The killer likely took it as a trophy. As a trophy? A manhunt was underway for the unknown killer. Um. With the only description of him looking like a camper, that was the only oh, description of the killer. With what the police knew we need to him, we need to hurry up. I feel I feel stressed. This isn't the way in. Police have reports of Someone's looking for a camper. Matching. With luggage. How he got the severed head through airport security remains a mystery. On the night of Halloween in nineteen. How do you know? A man was butchered at his home. Let's keep going. Can't tell where we're really supposed to be going right now. Did I get lost again? How, dude? How do I manage to play games this much and still get lost? Yet to be found, the killer likely took it as a trophy. Going to our apartment. Underway for the unknown killer. With the only description of him looking like a camper, that was the only witness description of the killer. With what oh, there we go. Knew of him, they searched the woods we removed the luggage. <laughs> Wait, what? Wh what? I thought we were going to open up the luggage and there's a head there. What is this? We only had clothes in there. No, no. It's a recurring nightmare. You know what they say about those. They're nightmares that repeat themselves. And I'm stuck. Uh, uh, there we go. What was I thinking? Oh, no. I wonder, is that us? Was that like a cool, like, throwback? Yeah, this is like our memories. This is a cool way to show us our memories. Why? Just why couldn't I let the past be and moved on? And you can move while it's stuck on them, but you can't actually move the camera too much. Oh, that's really well done. I'm so sorry, Gail. I'm sorry. What? Oh, we healed Gail. Oh, we didn't kill a random person. We killed Gale. Can I live with myself? I'm a monster. I'm not a monster. You, you had to do what you had to do. At least you gave him a nice little burial. I don't know why we were waving. Is that our way of saying goodbye, Gale? We were just very excited seeing him off on the ship. Look at us, Gale. You gumping it. We got that forest gump legs in us. Okay. Maybe it's saying to follow and we're getting too far away. Is that what it does? Yeah, okay, that's the game mechanic saying to come near. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Understandable. I'm going to do it this time. I'm going to kill myself. Maybe that's why I'm here. Oh, you don't 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 ever do that. Don't don't commit on alive. Find help before you do that. You only get one shot. That was a very unbelievable scream. Luggage. Uh, so... What? <laughs> um... Yeah... 
That was a little confusing. I'll get into that towards the end of the video when I'm sharing my opinion of both the games, but it was a very interesting concept. I like the way that the graphics actually were. Good job. Alright, next game. Our next game is Assessment Examination, where we're examining our assessment. I'm not really sure what to expect. I didn't read what this was. Thanks for applying Hi, for this friend. position at the Authenticity Assessment Department. All of us here at are very happy oh, to have you. If you get the job, that is. Today, we'll be testing your instincts to see if you're qualified to perform authenticity assessments on your own in a real-life scenario. Oh. But before that, some quick questions are required to get some more insight about who we would be hiring. Please take a sit and await further instructions. Okay, I'm waiting further instructions. How did you hear about this position? Word of mouth, newspapers, a dream. Um, a word of mouth. Do you have any professional experience in this area? No. I don't know what we're saying no or yes to, but no. Do you have any personal experience in this area? Yes. Yes, I do. Do you believe in God? See, this is such a big question. I'm going to say simply no, but there's a bit more to it than that. Do you fear death? Not really. No. Would you fear God? Absolutely. I think anybody would. Do you have people you love in your life? Yes. Do you fear losing them? This is the answer that should have been there for the God thing. This is what I'm going to give here. In a moment, we will provide you with several images of people, and you must determine whether or not these people are authentic and to be trusted, or threats you should stay away from. Please be careful with your selections. Our decision on whether to hire you will depend heavily on your results. Trust or don't trust? Okay, he looks like a trustworthy guy. Um, trust. Mmm, trust. 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 Basically, you're just going to say trust every single one of them. Um, holding hands and then a family. Trust. Ooh. This guy's blazed. Oh, trust or threat. Threat. Her eyes are red, but... She might just be blazed, too. We're gonna say threat. Ah, this is a homie. We can trust that. Mm. Okay, so in this situation, I actually think he can trust this guy, because he can't see and he can't talk, so who's he gonna tell? But it looks like his ears are still there, so you can trust him with anything. Diazepam, 5 milligram tablet, take something, tablets by mouth, nightly. It's probably... I don't think you would even take that nightly. Yeah. I think that would be a more... Nah, it doesn't matter. Trust or threat? He kind of reminds me of like a more rounded face Serge Tankian. Ooh. Don't trust three. Don't trust females. Unless they have cute hairstyles. Trust. She's got a little bit of, um, a weird lip situation going on. Kind of looks like a leaf more than a lip. 
Um, let's, uh, let's leave her alone. <laughs> Threat. Francisco Estrada, 19, victim 2. Police Department, what's your emergency? Yeah, hi, I'm Dora Park at a gas station. Actually, in a corner of Dora Park, I think there's somebody here who needs help. There's a kid outside. He's got some blood on him. <coughs> He's got some blood on him, rather. Not a huge fan of the way the graphics are in this one. I think it's a little bit too extreme, but it's alright. Is he hurt? I don't know. He looks fine. It's just... He's outside, and the door is locked, so I can't tell. He is asking for help, though, so... I don't know if you can hear, but... He's asking me to help him. Okay, I'm dispatching an ambulance right now. Is there any way you can unlock this door? Oh, I can unlock it for sure. I work here. I have the keys. Then what's stopping you? Well, I mean, I wanted to help him, obviously. The moment he came in. It's a kid with blood on him, for Christ's sake. But... And this is going to sound like crazy to you. Just as I was pulling out my keys, I saw it. His face. His face, you know? He had this look. It reminded me of something... I don't know what. Something I'm terrified of. Fuck, I don't know, man. But something's off about that kid. Like, real off. You're going to let this kid bleed out because he feels off. No, that's not what I'm saying. He's He's not dying, I don't think. He just didn't look right as all. Kid looked like he'd just died himself, but he hasn't, obviously. He looked like a ghost, or a demon. It's hard to explain. Maybe I'm just fucked up right now. I've been drinking a little bit, but you had to see him. It's scary shit, officer. Officer? He must be pale because of blood loss. Poor kid can't even keep his eyes straight, and not because he drank one too many cheap beers. Well, that's not very kind. Is he still there? How does he look? Uh, yeah, he's... I don't know. I'm, like, crouching under the counter, so I can't even see what he's doing. It's fucking creepy. Hmm, okay. Well, the ambience is still a good 20 minutes away, and that kid cannot be doing well. So I need you to go assist him. Oh, fuck that. No fucking way, no. You didn't see that little fucker. He's not normal. This is what I act like whenever I see a child. You know refusal to cooperate is a crime, right, son? Is that true? If you call the police and you don't follow orders on the phone, is that a crime? I feel like that wouldn't be a crime, because you're calling them for assistance. So you... Maybe it is, I don't know. Is... Is that what that is? Of course. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I'll go check on him then. Thank you. I'll stay on the line. Alright. Ave Maria Santisma. Oh god, is that what the kid looked like? Uh... Hmm. I think any kid just threat threat to a threat to society. Trust or threat, you can trust this guy. It's not like he's... Ooh. But can you trust one that has that look in their eyes? That's like a future serial killer. Um... Good headlines. Uh... That's like my type of drawing. Excellent. You have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. Awesome. I did it. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on my well, screw you too. That was obnoxiously loud. <clears throat> obnoxiously loud rather. Oh, that's the that's the answer I gave that one question. Missing. Janzi Hassan. Can't read the rest. Mitchell Kramer. Wayne Green. And something. 
Mm. It looks like Wayne Green was one of the uh, pictures that we clicked on. This is one of the people that were hella high. Oh, no, no, he'll, he'll get pissed off about it, alright? He's smoking the like, devil's marijuana. Oh, gonna do fire me? I already put in my two weeks notice. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I told you about I, last week. Yeah, it was for real. That was for real. I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm done with this place, honestly. I barely get any sleep to sit in. Yeah, bro. You, know, you had the fucking late night shifts and dicks I feel that though. Yeah, two birds on stone. That really sucks. Those type of shifts. Uh, nah, nah, not really. No, I. I think I'm. I'm just gonna look around and you know, see what I can find. Any place better than just fucking gas station. This guy really yeah, doesn't yeah. like Joe's gas yeah, station. I'll, I'll You know, oh, oh shit, yeah, no, I forgot about that, yeah, that, that's just Friday? Fuck, yeah, no, I'll, I'll be there then. I'll be there. Oh, sh don't, don't deal with an ass with you know, let's make it up for Friday, yeah, see what she says. Alright. Okay, cool, now. See you Friday, man. Alright. I'll see you Friday then. It was too late already. Well, Excellent. What you was? have now completed the authenticity assessment examination. Congratulations. If you are accepted into you will receive a letter on April the 23rd at 10.04 a.m. That is such if a specific time. That, stay inside, lock your doors and windows and wait for the real letter to arrive. Do not call the police. If the real letter does not arrive and you believe in a god, pray to them. If they are real, hope they will take pity on your soul. If everything goes well, however, we'll see you very soon. We'll be thrilled to have you join our ever-growing family. You have reached the end of your examination. Did I just join a cult? I didn't, did I just join a cult? Was that an assessment examination to join some sort of cult? Okay, well, that's assessment examination. So let's uh, talk about these games now. That's going to be it for two spooky games. Luggage was done really well on having the game feel unique. It had that sort of horror mixed with kind of borderline humor, how it was delivered. The way that they presented the graphics was very interesting, makes it stand out from others in the genre. Uh, at the end, the way that the camera was used when following... Uh, your memories of killing Gale. I really liked how you were able to follow him. And it was all really fun. And the only thing I would consider is maybe a less distorted option, like graphics option, just for accessibility purposes. But even without that, the game was very solid. As for assessment examination, I think it also needs a less distorted graphics setting, but was really fun. I enjoyed going through a training video where it's just slightly off, causing this creepy feeling. The ramp up on what it was all for was incredibly satisfying as well. I wasn't expecting sort of like a cultist introduction invitation of sorts, but that was very satisfying. Again, my name is Ghoul Robber, and until next time.